Hey, people. People who are familiar with how various Christian light cults such as Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons operate will see that the Catholic Church operates in a similar fashion. And as a matter of fact, the Catholic Church is sometimes referred to as the cult of Mary. They have an elite class of members who lead the rest of who are claimed to never be wrong in their doctrine or practices. Only the leaders are allowed to interpret the Bible for the underdogs, the non-clergy. Their leaders have their own book of doctrine, such as the Catholic Catholicism, which is their own private interpretation of the Bible. Their leaders say there is no salvation outside of their church or organization, rather than no salvation outside of the Lord Jesus Christ. Their leaders claim there is, is the one true church and that all other churches are false or inferior to theirs. Their leaders claim that their church alone can trace its roots back to the first century. They typically have a central leader here on earth who is above all other members in rank. They typically have a central headquarters here on earth, such as the Vatican, Catholics, the Watchtower headquarters in Brooklyn, New York, Jehovah's Witnesses, and the Temple Square in Salt Lake City, Utah. Mormons, they have an elaborate works-based system of salvation unique to their particular cult. Many of their religious practices have origins in pagan religions, not Christianity. Many of their religious teachings have origins in the writings of their so-called church fathers or their cult's prophets, not in the Bible. Instead of being preoccupied with Jesus, they are preoccupied with mere mortals, be it dead saints or their popes or their cult's leaders. In Catholicism, as with many similar cults, there are writings or books that act as the final authority and final interpretation of the Bible for their followers. The CCC, Catholicism of the Catholic Church, is a 900-page book in which are the only acceptable interpretations of Scripture allowed by the Catholic Church. They are interpretations that are used to validate and support the false teachings and practices of Catholicism. An unbroken line of popes? The Catholic Church simply renamed bishops as popes to justify their wild claims to be the one true church, and millions of sincere Catholics believed every lie they were told. Catholic popes have ranked among the most vile, evil, corrupt, unholy, ungodly, disgusting, morally bankrupt men who ever walked the face of this earth, totally unqualified to represent Jesus Christ in any way whatsoever. The New Testament mentions church elders in various cities, but gives no mention of one supreme bishop over all other elders. And no one could be a successor to an apostle if they had not been an eyewitness to the Lord Jesus Christ. Also, the extreme moral corruption of many of Rome's popes clearly indicates that those men had not been regenerated by the Holy Spirit. Their conduct is in no way exemplified new creatures in Christ. It matters not how big or how long lived a particular so-called Christian organization is. If they preach and teach a false gospel, which is always a man-centered works plan of salvation, then they are called a false church. All is false.